A Simple Reflections of Christianity Podcast Welcome to the podcast, I'm your host Remy, a computerized animated voice. This is Simple Reflections of Christianity. Mornings and Evenings A Daily Reading by C. H. Spurgeon Thank you for joining in and of course please like, subscribe and follow for more messages like this. We can all learn a thing or two from the saints who have gone before us. Thanks again and welcome to Simple Reflections of Christianity Podcast with me Remy, you host. C. H. Spurgeon. This work is in the public domain and is available online. Morning, April 22. Him hath God exalted. Acts 5:31. Jesus, our Lord, once crucified, dead and buried, now sits upon the throne of glory. The highest place that heaven affords is his by undisputed right. It is sweet to remember that the exaltation of Christ in heaven is a representative exaltation. He is exalted at the Father's right hand, and though as Jehovah he had eminent glories, in which finite creatures cannot share, yet as the mediator, the honors which Jesus wears in heaven are the heritage of all the saints. It is delightful to reflect how close is Christ's union with his people. We are actually one with him, we are members of his body, and his exaltation is our exaltation. He will give us to sit upon his throne, even as he has overcome, and is set down with his Father on his throne. He has a crown, and he gives us crowns too, he has a throne, but he is not content with having a throne to himself, on his right hand there must be his queen, arrayed in gold of Ophir. He cannot be glorified without his bride. Look up, believer, to Jesus now, let the eye of your faith behold him with many crowns upon his head, and remember that you will one day be like him, when you shall see him as he is, you shall not be so great as he is, you shall not be so divine, but still you shall, in a measure, share the same honors, and enjoy the same happiness, and the same dignity which he possesses. Be content to live unknown for a little while, and to walk your weary way through the fields of poverty, or up the hills of affliction, for by and by you shall reign with Christ, for he has made us kings and priests unto God, and we shall reign forever and ever. Oh, wonderful thought for the children of God! We have Christ for our glorious representative in heaven's courts now, and soon he will come and receive us to himself, to be with him there to behold His glory, and to share His joy. Evening, April 22. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night. Psalm 91 5. What is this terror? It may be the cry of fire, or the noise of thieves, or fancied appearances, or the shriek of sudden sickness or death. We live in the world of death and sorrow, we may therefore look for ills as well in the night watches as beneath the glare of the broiling sun. Nor should this alarm us, for be the terror what it may, the promise is that the believer shall not be afraid. Why should he? Let us put it more closely, why should we? God our Father is here, and will be here all through the lonely hours, he is an almighty watcher, a sleepless guardian, a faithful friend. Nothing can happen without his direction, for even hell itself is under his control. Darkness is not dark to him. He has promised to be a wall of fire around his people, and who can break through such a barrier? Worldlings may well be afraid, for they have an angry God above them, a guilty conscience within them, and a yawning hell beneath them, but we who rest in Jesus are saved from all these through rich mercy. If we give way to foolish fear we shall dishonor our profession, and lead others to doubt the reality of godliness. We ought to be afraid of being afraid, lest we should vex the Holy Spirit by foolish distrust. Down, then, ye dismal forebodings and groundless apprehensions, God has not forgotten to be gracious, nor shut up his tender mercies, it may be night in the soul, but there need be no terror, for the God of love changes not. Children of light may walk in darkness, but they are not therefore cast away, nay, they are now enabled to prove their adoption by trusting in their heavenly Father as hypocrites cannot do. Though the night be dark and dreary, darkness cannot hide from thee. Thou art he, who, never weary, watchest where thy people be. (laughs) 